Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic Collide. Uh, this is going to be a tournament report on this deck. Now, I did the two videos so far, and um, I hadn't really gotten that far into the testing, and I called my local game shop, um, the closest one. Most of them are about 19 to 30, they're about 30 miles away. And that one's about 15, so I go to, it's my local game store. Um, I've had a lot of things happen the past couple months I haven't been able to play. I mean, going for the past month, haven't called or anything, called today, and was like, hey, uh, you guys playing standard tonight? I was all amped to play standard, I had my deck ready and everything, I was ready to go. And he was like, uh, no, we're doing modern tonight. And I was like, uh, big boss, uh, I mean, I know him pretty well. Uh, the owner, I was like, uh, Big Boss, well, what are you guys playing tomorrow? And he said, uh, we are closing the store, actually. And I was like, uh, what? And he said, have you been on Facebook? And I'm terrible about Facebook, so I was like, uh, no. And he said, yes, we are closing the store, this is our last tournament, and we're doing Modern tonight. I was like, oh, fuck. Really wanted to do Standard, found a new card shop, it's only 19 miles away, um, looks pretty small, looks very nice. I mean, there's a big, really nice one. I could go 40 minutes one way, 30 minutes another way. Uh, sort of have, would have to go to play in qualifiers and such, but uh, I was really bummed about my card shop closing. Anyways, back to our story. Modern, and I had, I didn't have a lot ready. This is the deck that I wanted to play. I had no idea what to do with it, and so this is the direction that I went. So the direction that I went was, I went ahead and added three Glittering Wish. I only added three because I replaced one Murderous Red Cap and one Cartel Aristocrat. I also added Tide Hollow Scholar in there, although I did not add the Glittering Wish in his place, and I also uh, ditched my fake proxy, Kitchen the Phoenix, obviously, so now I have two. So I have three Court of Calling, three Eldritch Evolution, and three Glittering Wish as my tutors, which is quite a bit. So I cut down, I'd literally like to have nine or at least eight of something. You can only have a maximum of eight of our Persist creatures. So... On this, I went with seven, no, six on our sacrifice outlets, and then seven on our actual persist stopper, stoppers, and then just five on our persist guys. And I have nine tutors here, three of which tutor for a sacrifice outlet, this or this, any of them. So I didn't feel too bad about replacing those, plus I can find these things very quickly. I really like the turn one Birds of Paradise into turn two Eldritch Evolution, the Birds of Paradise into uh, whatever piece I was missing. It was really nice. So I went to this tournament. It was a local tournament. Like I said, I'm a Friday Night Magic Grinder. I'm a local tournament grinder. I do like big tournaments, but uh, I'm a pack grinder. I want to go and pay five bucks and get 16 bucks worth of packs or more. So, uh, but tonight I had no idea what I was doing. I had no sideboard put together. I had no, I just I had no sideboard put together. I had an idea, but I did not know what to do. So in case anyone wanted to do graveyard stuff, I included two Anafenza and a surgical extraction, and I also included the in internal witness package. Now the internal witness. Uh, package is I have three main deck spells. All the red are my sideboard cards, so all this is sideboard, all this is main deck. My package that I have here is two Path to Exiles and one Duress. Now I have one Duress and four Tide Hollow Skullers, and the idea behind that is that if it's combo deck that I'm facing, I can grab their combo piece like Ad Nauseum or something like that, uh, or um, but mainly is to play it right before you combo off to make sure the way is clear. So that is why I can fetch one of him in my uh, Tide Hollow Skuller. So the Eternal Witness, uh, buying back my spells, buying back Glittering Wish Exiles itself, but buying back these or buying back a piece that I need was really, really helpful. I had all four Birds of Paradise and I was running all 20 land. Now on the land, I uh, wanted to go over this real quick, everything was the same except I replaced our two tap lands, 
uh, or one fetch land and the murmuring boss with a shambling vent and a hissing quagmire, quissing, hissing quagmire. Last time I played this deck, I was really missing a car. I was really missing a man land. I was really hurting for one. Uh, both of both these sets were out. I wanted the hissing quagmire for sure. Now I'm teetering between the shambling vent and the one that's a three four that the green white one that blocks uh, flyers because they don't have a lot of anti flyer action besides the birds of paradise in here I think so uh, went with a shambling vent this time though and a hissing quagmire because I expected a lot of mid range decks which I did not come across turns out so. Uh, this is what I decided to do was do an Eternal Witness package if they are playing like a mid-range deck or something I need to kill quickly I am going to ditch all of my Glittering Wishes and then I'm going to add in the Eternal Witness and Surgical Extraction well actually I have if it's a creature deck I am doing uh, like I was facing mainly creature collected company decks uh, tonight so it would be Paths and Duresses and then a surgical extraction to grab a uh, collected company after I got it, and then three eternal witnesses to grab them and do it all again, which I did quite successfully tonight. Um, I dressed somebody three times off two eternal witnesses. Um, unfortunately, it was not enough, though. I will go over my return, uh, my tournament report here in a minute. Uh, Liliana is amazing in this deck because she lets you ditch creatures and then cast them. Uh, not cast them, but her minus lets you, like a murderous red cap, cast four. If you are stuck on three mana, you can ditch him, uh, you know, tick her up, ditch him, and then the next turn bring him back, and he gets around counter magic. So that is a really helpful thing. I really love Liliana. She was really amazing, but I got clogged up on two of her tonight a whole bunch of times. So I'm thinking about switching to one in the main board and one in the sideboard. Uh, so that is uh, that configuration. If the hate, I can always grab with the Glittering Wish main board if I uh, need to. I, so the package here is also two Abrupt Decays. I can grab them mainly, or in the main deck, I have the three Glittering Wishes to grab uh, Abrupt Decays, and then sometimes I'll add one in and leave one in the sideboard so I can still grab it because essentially... I have four copies of, if I add one in, I have four copies of it, not just one. And then I can always, after I play it, I can always get it back with the uh, Eternal Witness. So Eternal Witness worked out amazing. She's like Snapcaster Mage, except she can get back my combo pieces She was and, or my uh, tutor. She was amazing. Uh, I really liked her in this deck. I'll be using her going forward. And she also makes a good Eldritch Evolution target to sacrifice herself. So I got this package here with the Eternal Witness and Surgical Extraction. Uh, Quisili Pride Mage kind of speaks for itself. It was to fight hate as well, um, like destroy him, bring him back with the Eternal Witness or Liliana to destroy uh, Rest in Peace or the Grave Digger's Cage is what I expected to run into for hate for this deck. Now if I ran into Dredge or uh, any deck similar to mine, I had Anafenza, I could just fetch right out. Uh, I, could put one, I would put one in the deck to uh, be able to tutor for, and then I have three cop. I essentially have four copies of her in the deck with Glittering Wish by keeping one in the sideboard. Uh, last time I played this deck a couple months ago, Gaze of Granite was something I really wanted. I really missed it. I wanted it really bad. It would have came in handy so many times. So I got one. It would have came in handy, but it never. I never got to use it. Um, I have a Tide Hollow Scholar, like I said, to get that. Now, this is the main important parts for the Glittering Wish. Uh, you can fetch your, any of your three pieces. Your Sacrifice Outlets, your Persist Stoppers, or your Persist Creatures. So I have Murderous Redcap, Juniper Order Ranger. Juniper Order, Order Ranger acts as uh, a Persist Stopper and then a Sacrifice Outlet. Now, you can get fancy with my Sacrifice Outlet. I could use Varlaws, but Cartel Risk Cat is a lot cheaper to cast Glittering Wish and her in the same turn to be able to win. So, with that being said... So, with that being said, uh, let's get on to our tournament report. One thing I had a really hard time on not doing was the Fiend Hunter. So, what the Fiend Hunter does is when you play him, you have to have a Sacrifice Outlet first. So let's say you have the Cartel Aristocrat. You play the Fiend Hunter. His trigger goes on the stack. You sac you pick a creature to exile, and then you sacrifice him so his next trigger goes on... Well, you play him, his trigger goes on the stack, you sacrifice him, 
and then his next trigger, his death trigger goes on this deck. So his death trigger happens, and uh, he died, nothing happened. But then his next trigger happens, and the next trigger you gotta exile the creature permanently. And then you can bring this guy back with Liliana, wherever I put her, Liliana, or uh, shoot, even the Eternal Witness. So uh, I'm thinking about adding this guy as a uh, main. We'll see. I hated Anafenza. But let's get on to the uh, tournament report. So the first deck I faced was a... Uh, what was he playing? He was a good friend of mine. I got a video that I'm gonna show you that has um, That's the deck that I'm playing him against, but he was playing allies and uh, He got some pretty playing collected company allies and What I was able to do against him uh, Especially in the first game he was able to get my life total down before I could get any good tutors And I was making terrible plays because I haven't played this deck against a real deck and I have no practice I had no idea what I was doing so um, I when I tutored with glittering wish or eldritch evolution I was getting the wrong things um, I did a really bad job so on the second game I tutored in arrests half the exile abrupt decays tide hollow scholar and an eternal witness and took out my I think all but one glittering wish uh, something around there and what I did was I just attritioned him to death with uh, the dresses, uh, the abrupt decays, and the path to exiles with the eternal witness. I would just play it, get it back, play it, uh, kill her, bring her back with Liliana, get it back, uh, keep playing it. And so that plan worked so well. I want to keep doing that. I think I might move up to four eternal witnesses. I love that, but I ended up losing those games. He was so fast, and I did not have the right draws. I played really bad, and he deserved his win. I love that kid. I'm so sad that that shop is shutting down. So second game was against a uh, Mardu Vehicles deck updated. It was uh, a Mardu Vehicles deck uh, updated with a couple standard things. It was had still had the Smuggler's Copter in it, and it had a couple, like, uh, modern removal spells and uh, things like that, but it was still, uh, with my this, I just ran over him. So that one was not hard. Um, I just sideboarded in a bunch of removal, no duresses. Uh, Liliana kept him locked down with uh, discarding creatures and being able to bring them back. It was, uh, like, I blocked his creatures, that he was playing, you know, he's playing vehicles, and he played Thalia, the new Thalia, the Cather, where everything comes in tapped, and I was able to just attrition him out. He didn't stand a chance. Uh, third game I played was David, uh, the bless, the best player at that store. He uh, runs, he actually runs the cards part, and the main owner runs. Uh, the actual distributor part but he does a lot of the singles so but he still can still play and he was playing ad nauseum and ad nauseum against this deck was not good i was able to abrupt decay uh, i wanted to abrupt decay the lotus bloom but uh, i'm sure he could use it anyways um so what i did for that matchup was i went all in on tide hollow scholars and dress uh took out all the path to exiles um, I think the Eternal Witness was... I took out things that were slow and added in the fastest stuff that I thought I could. I wanted to combo off as fast as I could, but without... Uh, and bring in as much as Disruption I could. And I just did not draw the Disruption. The one game I was... I would have won the next turn, but he actually packed of negationed me and won the next turn. So, uh, I know another card that I would like to add, if I would have been able to make him discard the Ad Nauseum in any of those games and Surgical Extraction it, uh, that would have helped a lot. I would like to invest in uh, another Surgical Extraction for, um, it's really good in every deck, but especially with discard. Uh, I think I would do that, and I would like to add a 3 mana card that takes away all of their cards. So, I'm going to show you the clip real quick. All right, favorite turn one plate right here. Do not even have it ready. Dress. Do I actually hit anything? I did, son of a bitch, hell yeah, okay. And I don't know if you can hear that, but we are in a torrential downpour at a horrible time getting home. 
Um, it was raining on me terribly, and staying, instead of staying for the fourth match, I, you know, I lost two, I won one, I went ahead and just took my pack and ran. Uh, those guys are doing some stuff tomorrow, so hopefully um, I might be able to get out tomorrow, but a uh, pretty disappointing night, but I was unprepared. I found some things I did like, some things I didn't like. Uh, I think I have a good direction of where I'm going to go, and uh, so we'll continue to evolve this deck with that in mind and get more and more testing. So if you like this deck and want to see more of it, just tune in for more videos. Thank you very much, and uh, goodbye, everybody.